now we are going to see html elements and attributes first of all what html elements the basic thing you need to know that html elements what is an html element i already said that html element is the building block of a web page it is in a building block of web page and what's the uh, what is the importance of this html page see i'm having html tag and i'm closing this html tag and i'm having head and i'm closing this head section and i'm having my body section and i'm closing this body section okay this is the basic structure of a html page so whatever i am writing here this is my content right so i call it as an html element okay i completely call it as an html element HTML element will does not display any tag on the web page. It does not display body on the web page. It only display the content of a web page, right? So this is my complete HTML body element. This is so it contain the HTML body element. It contains the open body tag, closed body tag, and in between the content, right? if you want to understood specially let us suppose i am having my h1 tag h1 is my tag and i am closing this h1 tag right this two are tags right this is my open tag and this is my closed tag yes this two and the content over here my content is heading here my content is heading here this is my content uh, previous i executed this heading right did h1 and closing h1 did displayed on the browser no why only the content will be displayed on the web page that is what so i call the complete thing here as an html element html element now you clearly understood what is an html html element means which displays the content on a web page using the specific tags and according to that tags the content specification will be defined the content specification will be defined that is what the html element see html element contains the open tag and close tag and whatever the content we are writing in between those tags that comes under the content the content only displayed on the web page now you clearly understood what is html element right now coming to here html elements i can say that nested elements html nested elements that means that an element inside the element right see over here just see over here i'm having html element this is my html element yes this is my html element another element and i'm having one more element that means a, an element inside an element in this html element i am having my body element right so html inside element we call it as an a nested html element now straight away one question for you guys in this basic structure of a program just tell me that how many html elements i do having how many html elements i do having yes if your guess is 3 then you are right if your guess is 3 you are right how come see html to html this is one element right and head to head this is my second element and body to body this is my third element this is my first element and this head portion is my second element and this body portion is my third element so how many i'm having now in this basic structure i am having 
three elements so for your purpose see now i am executing a program just tell me that how many lines of how many html elements are there in my program let's see the program so now open edit plus and here i am typing basic html here i am typing basic html tags right in html i am having header session and body session okay here body this is the basic structure of a html page inside head i am also having title tag open title and close title i can keep any type of content here so title here we can type okay title here and in body portion we can type any type of content either heading or paragraph like that suppose i am typing a heading over here this is my heading and i am closing this heading okay and also i am having one paragraph okay writing paragraph here and i am closing this paragraph this is my basic program having html tag and head portion inside the head i am having a title and in i am having body tag inside body i am having two elements that is h1 and p1 now tell me guys in this basic program how many elements are there html elements okay i am have here we are having six elements see here html html is one element head head is one element and title title this is one element and all about three here and body here that is a four and h1 here that is a five and p here paragraph tag that is the six so completely we are having six html elements over here and now tell me how many elements there in my program all about six. so this html elements are classified into two ways right one is the paired elements and non paired elements non paired elements so what is paired elements first paired elements contains the open tag and close tag pair tag contains the open tag and close tag okay coming to the non paired elements it only contains open tag example of pair tags will be let us suppose heading h1 header and even the paragraph heading paragraph division para html body head all these contains paired tags if i open div i need to close this division if i open html i need to close this html if i open body i need to close my body tag if i open head tag i need to close my head tag if i open my title tag i need to close my title tag so many tags are there for the paired elements and coming to the non paired elements non paired elements we already seen that one is what img yes img img is the tag which is not having any close tag only open tag we are having and another one is br and another one is hr br means what break line and hr means what horizontal rule 
horizontal rule. Now we are going to see how BR and H are working now in an application example. So now you clearly understood what is a paired element and what is the non-paired element. Paired element might having paired element compulsory it's having open and closed tag and non-paired element is having only open tag. And these are the examples heading, paragraph, HTML element, body, title, head, all these elements comes under the paid elements and non-paid elements are IMG, BR, HR. Okay. We can also call these two elements as empty elements. Empty elements. Why empty elements? See, BR I am not using for any content purpose. To break a line I am using it for. So my content isn't there for BR element. That is the reason I am calling it as an uh, empty element. Coming to the HR horizontal rule. If I want to divide any section of portions, I need a line, horizontal line. I need a horizontal line. This is my paragraph, para 1 and this is my para 2. If I want to separate th between these two, I need a horizontal line right for that purpose i'm using horizontal so i'm not inserting any content over here just a horizontal rule that is the thing i'm calling it as an empty elements and a basic program i'm having that is html inside i need to close this html tag in html i'm having head and i need to close this head portion I'm not taking any title over here. I'm directly going to the body here and I'm closing my body here. Inside body, I need to write some content over here. So inside content, I'm writing, let us suppose I do having a heading. Welcome to Ratan IT. Okay. This is my heading. I'm, I'm closing this heading. Okay. After this heading, I need a line break. For that purpose, I'm using BR over here. And here I'm having a paragraph. So I'm using P tag. Here I'm writing Ratan IT para 1. Okay. And I'm closing this paragraph. Okay. And I'm using some horizontal rule over here that is HR tagline. Okay, I'm having another para, and here I'm writing Ratanaiti para 2. And I'm closing my para over here. Okay, and save it. And I'm going on. And now I'm going to run this program. See. After welcome to Ratan IT, I had a line here, line break here and I am having a horizontal rule that is after para 1, after para 1 here I am having a horizontal rule that is the line break. Now you are clear with the HTML elements right?